Do you know how to read the bolded word on this page? Mujo, mujo, mujo. There is a Joel down here, and there is a Mu up here of the mm. middle guys. Mu Hyo, Hyo Jo. Hi, hi, Mu Hyo Jo. What does Mu Hyo Jo mean? He is not concerned. He he is not. Good guess. Hyo Jo is a facial expression, so Mu Hyo Jo means no facial expression. So most likely he's not concerned, but he's not really anything. He's just burp. It's a derp face. Um, what is the te form of kudu? De. Hi, kite. Perfect. How do you read this bolded word? Muzukashi. Hi, muzukashi. Difficult. Perfect. Do you know what butsu butsu means? Butsu butsu is the adverb for muttering. Yay, perfect. And how do you read this word? Q. Q. Hi, hi, perfect. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, Q. Uh, and steep is what it means. And what does tubiyaku mean? Ayakinagara. Uh, also, this is a. Um, that's the noun form of subayaku, which is to yes. to mutter. Perfect. Um. Oh wait, sorry. <laughs> one thing I needed was the one thing I didn't ask. What does the nariyara mean? And nariyara butsu butsu to tsubuyakinagara. Nani yara? Nani is Nani yaru is is what this is, but it's was modified. He was hey. doing something. Kind of, yeah. So nani yara basically me is a, it's an adverb that basically means uh some kind of whatever it just is like a what a, like a question mark kind of like nanika is basically would be the same so you could say nanika butsu butsu or naniyara butsu butsu would theoretically kind of both work so it's basically it's just saying he's muttering something but the something here is an adverb rather than a noun so he's butsu butsu in a way that he's saying something and he's not just like doing butsu butsu like he's he's not just making boo 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 noises so nariyara is basically a kind of a kind of like nanika, but it's a adverb, saying some some kind of thing. Uh, so this is some kind of muzukashi hyojo. Is some kind it's just some kind of uh, complicated look on his face. Muzukashi hyojo de neburi wa his nose. Hi Hana. Hanaga Akai Akai You're right. Akai. How do we get this ku? Akaku. Hi, Akaku. Akaku. Nobody knows is red. And. Guai ga. Is it not a noun? Oh, uh, this um, is a noun, yes. Guai. Is uh, akuso. Uh, warui. Waru so. Um, guai is your condition. Guai is one's conditions. Waru so data. So refer to the. <laughs> Similar, simile. Yeah. He, he um. In this like context, a, yes. He is acting like. Hi. He is behaving like he's he's in a bad state. Hi. So it that seems that. like this. Um. So when you drop the e, is used when you're making a observation, off of something. 
right? Like, Omosuro so na hon is a book that looks interesting, but we don't know if it's actually interesting. We didn't read it yet. The difference between this and Mitai is... They're, they're very, very different. Um, you cannot swap one for a different. Um, so, Omoshiro so na hon. Omoshiro so na hon. This is a book that looks interesting, right? Um, versus um, Kaimono, sorry, Kaibutsu ni mitai na hon. Versus like Kaibutsu mitai na hon, a book that looks like a monster. Do you have kind of idea of how these two things are kind of different kinds of observations? A book that looks like a monster, a book that looks interesting. Omoshiro. So na hon kaibutsu mitai na hon omoshi so na The difference is that kaibutsu is not a quality that the book actually has. A book that looks like a monster is not a monster and should not be assumed to be a monster. It is a book. We have information about the book and that it looks physically like a monster, right? There's also Yona, right? Oh, that's annoying. Um, Uh, and it, you could also say Yona Hon, which is a book that acts like a monster, which is relatively nonsensical in this case. Um, but the thing is, both of these in English would be translated as a book that looks blank. Um, however, is the book a monster? If you say Kaibutsu ga mitai na hon. Is the book a monster? Kono hon wa kaibutsu. If you say kaibutsu mitai na hon, is the book a monster? Uh, uh, nai. Nai, hai. It is not a monster. And that is the same with yo. If you say kaibutsu no yo na hon, it should still not be a monster, not physically anyway, even though it acts like a monster. It's like it quacks like a duck. It not necessarily is a duck, I guess, in that case. So though, omoshiro so na hon, you could say kono hon wa omoshiro, omoshiroi. We don't know the answer yet. It could be, the answer could be yes or no, right? There's a yes or no possibility here. We do not have that information. No one has read the book yet. Here we do have the information. It is not a monster. It is a book. It is not a monster. It is a book. Right? Versus a book that looks interesting um, is going to be a book with a cool cover. We, we are, all it is is stating factual information about the book. The book it has a cool ass cover. I bet what looks inside looks good. So it's 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 used for like a conjuncture. You're making an observation and making a assumption based off of that um, um, observation when you're using soul. Mitai is a fact. The book looks like whatever it looks like physically. That is just a fact. The book looks interesting is a state of opinion. We think the book will be interesting if we try to read it. We have not read it yet. But it looks like a book that would be interesting. Opinion, and then the bottom two are observations of facts. Yeah. Like a let's like like a easier example probably would have been like kono neko sorry would be a neko mitai na inu and a neko no yona inu. 
would give you two very different kind of pictures. A Nekomitai na Inu would probably be a dog that's like a Chihuahua or something. It's a small dog, has kind of pointy-ish ears. If you didn't really have a good grasp on what a cat is and what a dog is, maybe you could mistake it for one just by looking at it. The physical appearance of the dog kind of seems cat-like. Neko no yona inu would be a dog that acts very cat-like, like maybe your dog um, doesn't like to be cuddled, but what, but, or maybe the dog, when you like pet their stomach, it attacks your hand, or maybe the dog um, likes to rub itself against you like a cat, right? It has kind of cat-like behaviors that you go, oh, that's what cats do. How funny, right? So the, the idea is that the yo is that you're describing the physical actions of something versus mitai is focusing more on the physical appearance of something. And so is when you're making a assumption. Hi. 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 So here the guega waru so means that his condition looks bad. The main character looked at him and went, Neverty doesn't look good. Is Neverty in a bad condition? Probably. We we made an assumption. We're assuming that Neberi's condition is not good. But we don't have this factual information because for one thing, Khan's not a doctor. And for another thing, Khan is not Neberi, so he can't actually know for sure what Neberi is feeling. So that's why we have soul here. Um, you could say like Mitai if you wanted to like describe like his facial expression, saying like, oh, his 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 uh, like his face is bad. <laughs> so it's like what do what do soul na cow or whatever his face looks bad <laughs> but yeah this is just a different this is just an assumption you're making okay so never his condition is bad what else information do we have his nose is red hi 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 it, it is and his nose is um hana hana um, Anaga Araku. What that one? And then Nani Yara Muzuka Shi Hijo that with a uh, what is an, with an expression that seems difficult. Um, a difficult expression. Hi, some kind of difficult expression. Some kind of difficult expression. We use the same phrase in English, right? You know what kind of face he's making? Some kind of a fit, difficult face. Yeah. The face you'd look like when you have to do, like solve a difficult problem, basically. Right. And... Um... Danro no maeo itari kitari shiteru. We saw this phrase just. Hey, we did see that today. <laughs> itari kitari from Kuru and Ike. Hey, itari kitari shiteru. So he's suruing this. Yes, he's doing he's, this uh, right at this moment. He's doing ikuing and he's doing kuruing. He's pacing Hi. back and fro in front of the fireplace. Danro no mai. Right. Oh. With a complicated look on his face. With a complicated look on his face. Hi. Can you read this word for me? Somehow it looked like mado. It moment. is mado. You're right. Mado bear. So. Bear. But this bear here is, it's like a, it's like a katana, and then it has. It the, does look like a katana. Character. You're right, but um. Or maybe have you heard of Chikara. atari? Wait, uh, yeah, atari, like that. Uh, atari is like to make contact. Yeah, but the different kanji though. Atari with this kanji means your surroundings, your shoe. Ah, surroundings. So madobe is referring to the area around the window. 
So I right just... next to the window. Madol bet. Start with madol. What did it end with? And with be. Perfect. One is that character on top on the top right. Is that Chikara? Just no, the it's ha for blade. Half a blade. Or Chikara is something. Oh wait, no. Like... Sorry, you're right. It's Chikara. Sorry. Never mind. Oh, it's, it's not, not Chikara, Chikara either. What is this? It's something else. It's, it's um. Something. <laughs> I was like, it's katakana ka. <laughs> it's but no. I don't know what it um, is. There's okay, water uh, next to it. Like, not really water, but I don't know. It's like Chikara is not ha. It's something. Yeah. Because ko, uh, Q, um, like, Koko no Tsu, like the character for nine. Oh. What's the character for number nine, Wani? That's more of an outward loop, though. That's not it either. Yeah. The blade was closer, but we don't have the cross through it. We are, uh, we're not uh, doing radicals, so we'll just skip it. Wait, wait, Mani, what's what's the character for Yaiba in the kanji? It'd be like ha. It'd be yeah. the ha. There's no difference. I see. Need to know Yaiba. This is this is like a strange or something I've never seen mm, before. Probably seen it before. We just can't think about it. We don't have like a big list. I've definitely seen the kanji atari many, many times. Madobe ni ita. Right, but you want to start at the beginning of the sentence. Mutsu to shite ita. Onna jo. No, no, not onna. Um, so. Kyo, 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 shaku, kosaku. Onna kyo saku na wa. Duchess. That's it. Did you type in katana? Yeah, ka katana. So not the ha for blade in general. <laughs> it is katana. <laughs> oh, my. I guess it makes sense that Blade would have a different kanji. Do, 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 do. Uh, but yeah, uh, well, I'm pretty sure it's the same kanji as Ha. I think it's Blade, Demon Blade, not Demon Katana. Hey, yeah, I've heard that. So this is Onna Koshaku wa Madobe ni ita. The, um, Toshite ita. Hi. Felt like I've seen this before. He's Yes you have. He's a uh, shiteru. That means he's doing he's doing uh, whatever the to is describing. Yeah, which is a sound effect. Mu is the sound of you making a mm sound, which is basically uh, being solemn. Mm. Mm. Like solemn. Exactly. Right? Very. Like, exactly like that. He's talking to himself, like not really talking to yourself. No. Making a noise to yourself, right? Yeah. Um, it's 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 like when you make that noise, what do you feel? When you go, mm. Um, mm, mm. you um you you're struggling with, with something. You could you... be, yeah. Um, if you're reading a book, someone might be saying she got miffed or she got she felt she felt like puffy toward you, right? Um, but it's it's just like the mm, but it's not actually like necessarily making that noise, right? If they say like she sniffs at you, she probably isn't like sniffing you, she just kinda went, hmm. but here it's like more deeper, right? Poop, Funny, poop. So the tall here Mm -hmm. With the mutsu, the uh, to is describing a state like nebri was in that, uh, or the, the duchess was. To is the adverb that. marker. Suru is the thing she is doing, described in the way that is the adverb marker. The thing she is doing is acting very moot like, as if she's going, hmm. 
So in other words, she's being very sullen. She's being, she's in a little bit of a huff. In other words, the Toshite da is like, she seems like she's doing that, but she's I not would actually disagree. vocalizing the the mutsu sound, right? She's well, not that's like... just what sound effects mean in the first place, right? You do know uh, jitto, jitto, jitto. Uh, if someone says jitto mitsumeru in a book, someone is not literally going ji, right? The jitto mitsumeru is describing mitsumeru, staring at someone, specifically in the jitto kind of way. Ji is the sound of someone just staring at someone very intently without blinking. Ji, kind of like you could hear crickets in the background like the awkward staring going on mm. is probably where it comes from. You can just so the hear this effect mark with the talk is not literal, but it is describing in an adverbial way. Yes, it's an adverb. All sound effects in Japanese are adverbs. Not literal. Okay. I was thinking in very literal terms. Just now. Oh, I guess that is how onomatopoeias work in English, right? We don't use them as adverbs. We say the bees went buzz, buzz, right? There's only like, a couple like zoom is like, like is a like it's not like zoom is like in between a adverb and a real word, right? Like I zoomed across the room. That's the just sound. Now, zoom, zoom. Just now but because of the sita iru bit, I actually felt or in my mind she was literally <laughs> ah, <laughs> no like... sudo is just um you just can't ha you can't do an adverb right without some kind of verb and sudo is just a generic doing so you don't actually have to assign like a different verb um if you said like muto you just would have sudo i don't know what other verb you put in there like mitsumeru you could probably also do she was solemnly staring at me would be fine but yeah she did is just what you can use whenever there it's like like benkyo right benkyo means study and you add sudo to the end it means studying right it's just you add the sudo to just allow you to make something into a verb so you can't describe someone with an adverb right if i say she is sullen it doesn't really work if sullen is an adverb but solen in English is not an adverb, so it's okay. So that's why that's there, because it's not an adverb. I, so the solen, so like solen here is like she's she's not she's not very happy with this. Yeah. And um she's not in a good mood. She's not and, in a uh, good mood. She is by the window. She, she is not, by the window. That is totally correct. This is Iru in the Iru there, right there. Yes, she mm. was at the window being all sullen. Hi. Um, here is the line from the book. Let's go read it. Benetto to Hanas Hanashio Benetto to Hanashio. Shiteita itarashi. No. Shiteita rashi. Shiteita rashi. Madobe ni iru benetto wa muto shiteru. Muto shiteru hi. So he is saying something. Mm, hi. Who who is our topic of the first sentence? Not the second one. Our first topic is Neburi. Yeah. From the previous sentence. Hi hi. So what is Neburi and doing? He is shite ita rashi. So that verb cluster mean he is doing. He was doing, hi. He was doing, but he 
that was doing was modified by Rashi. Hi. Which means. Remember, this book is written in the first person by Kong's POV. What is Very Rashi? Important. What is Rashi that? is a vague word that is used to vagify something because we do not know it to be a fact. We do not know this is a fact because the book is written by Khan's POV and Khan cannot, um, was not actually here before well, whatever was going on and Khan can't actually read minds. But it seems like based on the observation Khan is making as he's just walked in the room that Bennett was having a conversation with somebody. Wait, who is having a conversation with? So it seems like perhaps here it's, Hi. It seems like Bennett was uh, he was having a conversation with I'm um, sorry, it seems like Neburi had had a conversation with Bennett. It seems like Neburi was having a conversation with Renette. Don't worry, you can copy it exactly as it is in English. Past tense in English is was. Deiru is ing. Was hey. having. Was a having conversation. It is used the same way it is in English as well, which is telling us that we are setting the stage of the story. Right? She was having a conversation with Bennett when I walked in the room. Right? That's how you do a story. It's not he talked with Bennett. He walked in the room. Right? That's not how people tell stories. It doesn't work. You have to have these uh, things occurring type of idea. But if he if he say shite that is mean is done, he's no longer. Yes, talking. at the moment the story is being told out loud, he's no longer talking with Bennett. Right. Uh, then the second part of the sentence said, uh, uh, Bennett who is uh, by the window. He is seated, and that means that he is um mut stop He is sullen. He is Hi. um not grumpy, mm. right? But like not in a good mood. Yes, just not in a good mood. Not not really sad. Just kind of mm. kind of. You can think about. I always think about it as pouty. Pouty. Pouting. It's kind of pouting. Yeah, it's like a pouting. So, Bennett was pouting by the window. Um, you probably more accurate in this context, you could say brooding. Brooding. <laughs> like Sasuke. You even got Sasuke's spiky hair going on. Oh, he's, he's, <laughs> uh, he's, um, he's, what do you call it? He, he's a Hamlet character. Aww. He's always like, um, upset about something. So, 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 exactly. That's exactly what he's doing. He's um he would be monologuing in his head if he was a uh one of those characters. He's emo. Um, can you read this word up here? Uh, this is shok shok shosai shok. Hi, shosai. Perfect. Nice. What's the imperative form of to be inside? Okay, let's me. I need some reminding here. Imperative. Mm -hmm referring to you, a command you, yes command command and i am commanding the other party correct to go in yes so go in go idle idle you go hi in. that is a good guess but haidu is a new verb so it should be haide you add a for imperative form or um Ro, right? So ro would be um ireru, be ireru, which no one really ever says for some reason. Yeah, be haide. So ru turns into de haide. Can you read this word for me? Te tsukazu kazu. Hi. Te tsukazu. So we have hand and to not attach. This means to not put your hands on something, right? Can you, 
can you type the kanji for ke, which is like a hair or fur yeah real quick? Right here. Oh, it's turned the other way. Wow, I've never noticed that until you pointed out. It also It looks has like a exactly longer the same. tail. It's can very con be confusing. It also has a much longer tail, which um, stands out more to me personally. Just, just like the longness of it. But from a glance, like if you if you just glance and, and no, but like for me, you. the balance of these characters are very different, right? This is like this shape, right? It's a triangle versus this one right here is like a different shape, right? That goes like this. The other one is is kind of like like that. <laughs> Maybe it's like curved, like this. <laughs> So like so for me, I've never noticed they look similar because the 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 shape it's taking up is pretty different, right? This is like a triangle. It's it's really Hi. small on the bottom, and this guy's really long. You're um, pretty good with kanji money. I I get all confused a lot. Yeah, I think you should use Anki because when you use Anki, you get really good with kanji. Cause <laughs> I know for a fact. That I was horrible with kanji when I graduated from college, and I never used Anki before. And I was like, well, I guess I could try it. And then boom, I'm now very good with kanji. I'm just um, too lazy for kanji. <laughs> gotta learn. Yeah, that's, that's, but see, Anki is the way to go for kanji. Specifically, I just, you know, do have the kanji, then you tap it for furigana, and then just, well, just flip it. Curious. Curious. Do you actually know the. The kanji for the word Anki. Anki? Um, I'd be able to read it, but I wouldn't be able to spell it. So that <laughs> is the version of the photo. Anki. Uh, yeah. Anki. Just so you know, it's not any of these Ankis. The first An Anki. one that popped up. Anki, Anki, Anki for, in Japanese to memorize. Writing or down information. Memorize Anki. Anki. Yeah. Yeah. Really? I can't write any kanji. I can just <laughs> read it. <laughs> I, That's why I'm like, yeah, like, ha. Huh. I think like, oh, surprising, no. surprisingly enough, the Anki as the project, I think it was originally created for the purpose of learning kanji. Probably. <laughs> and then people yeah. use it for other things. But originally, I think it was just something. I mean, it probably was originally a Japanese program just because the name is in Japanese. <laughs> and it's, it, but it's most popular with people learning Japanese and people doing medical science. But yeah, okay. everybody uses their Anki in different ways. My Anki is very much vocabulary based with the expectation that I have to learn the readings for it. But yeah, te tukazu means without touching, which is a way to say something has never, it, it has, it's the, been untouched, like unused. What's the passive form of you? This is an U verb then. Hi. So it's e. Passive, not imperative. Passive, so it's um, e, e, ieru. Hi, ieru is imperative form, which, ie, which is say it, but I want passive, which is to be told. Irare. Hi, so, I -ra um, yare. I -ra -re. is correct, but then we also add a ah. Right, i areru, but it becomes a wa i wareru. The ra that can show up for nareru happens when there is a r to exist or a ru verb to swap it with. But this has an u, so it becomes wa i wareru to be told. Um, what is the imperative form of haeru? Haeru imperative is haeru. Hi, hi, hi! Perfect. So let's go read this line from the book. Oh my, he's such a Hamlet looking guy. <laughs> That's never. <laughs> he's so emo, you're so right. Um Kozo. Uh, Nevari ni iwarete. Iware. De naka ni ita. Ore no skuta 
muffin wa tetsukazu no mama notte iru. Ah, notte? Notte. No kotte. No kotte iru. No kotte iru. Boy, come in or enter. Uh, Iwarete Neburi uh, say to me, or I receive those commands from Neburi. Uh, Naka ni Ita. Naka ni here is like Ida, right, Moni? While I was going in. That's a good guess. Naka never means what Ida. I don't think so. Not coming others. inside. Yes, as in inside of the room. So I enter. That's why we have Haida here. I go <laughs> enter. inside. I go into the room. I go inside. I, so being told that, I go inside the room. Being told that, I go inside. Oh, you're right. Iwarete. To be told. Ore no tsukata muffin wa. The muffin which I made. Sutte o tetsukazu no. Mama no kote iru. They still, they were left in the same way untouched. Yes, they, were they were left, left as they untouched. were. Untouched. Hi, they're still untouched, left behind. Perfect. Um, kissa, what does that mean? Sa is morning. K okay, just means this, this morning. morning. Hi, hi, hi. Can you read this phrase for me? Ten, but here is the um, is the other reading is mm. the is hey ya. Hey, yeah. Good guess. No, this no. is Mise. 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 Um, uh, Mise is the, is the local. Okay, so Mise ga sumari. Sumari. Atsumari. What does that mean? Mise ga atsumari. Mise ga atsumari. The the store where they 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 cluster together. So the stores locate all yeah, in one. Yeah, they're all one. gathered together. Perfect. Right. How do you read this word right here, which meant this morning? Ke sa ke sa. Perfect. Oh. One with ima and the other is. Hi. Uh, okay. So atsumari. let's go read the line from the book. So what's the single reading for morning? It was like. Uh, atashi. No, it's not it. Um, just asa. Asa, asa. One is ima, the other is asa, and together is kesa. Hi. Um. Here is ma jutsu shi tachi ga um atsumaru koto ni natte oru. Oru is never a way of saying aru. Yeah, iru. Iru. To exist. Hi. O nevari. Period. So, nevari wrote something. Said. Or oh, he said. Kesa, majuchi si tachi ga atsumaru koto ni natte oru. The magicians. Not the ir will become. Mm -mm. They will they come do. to be. They iru. Not the ir. Hi. They are coming. They yeah. are becoming. They are becoming what? Kotoni. 
Asamarikotoni. They are going to meet up. Yeah. When? This morning. This morning, okay. the magician are going to meet up. Yep, they're meeting up this morning. Um, do you know what Unazuka means? Unazaku. Unazuka. Unazuka. Una zuku to inquire. Good guess. That's tazunedu. Una zuku is to nod. Una to nod. Right oh now, shake that head. I don't know how many times I got that word wrong. Una zuku, we don't really see that often in this book, so it's an easy one to forget. Um, let's go zuku. read this, this one from the book. Boom. Rashine Shite Ita no de Unazuita Shite Ita no de because I understand because I know to shite ru is to know something, right, Mani? Hi. So because I know, I nodded. Hi. And what did un rashine mean? Un mm is a is a sound for uh yes. Yeah. How about rashi? Rashi is an adjective for is it an adjective? I don't know what his job is. I would guess like the suffix probably. It seems he say. Yes. yes. Yeah, it seems yes. so. Yeah, it sounds it like it. So. Uh, I already knew that, so I nodded. Perfect. Um, what's this word? You wanted that toad to be told. Hi, to be told. Perfect. How do you read this word? Uh, uh. First character is from from danger from hi uh, yeah from from the from my yep ki 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 bo ki ken ki ken what does ki ken mean ki from danger and ken from something I don't know ki ken means danger oh ki ken together mean danger hi there's a couple ways say this is danger and it is a noun ki ken um, another way for danger, right, would be kiki, saying kanji. That's crisis. It's more what it means, like to be in a crisis than actual danger. Um, this is like abunai, right, which I guess is also dangerous. Abunai. So, yeah, kiken is kind of like, ken is like incident, so a dangerous event, I guess, is what Funny. I'm saying. So, ki, ki, ki to you abunai. Hi. Um, but what is what about Ken? Ken what? Um, like I, <laughs> the it's a different kanji than like Ken for like incident, but it kind of feels like it's like Ken for incident. Um, Ken for incident. It's different kanji, but. Ken, Ken. I haven't Ken. seen that character before. You haven't seen Ken? Um, this is uh Ken for incident. Totally different kanji. Apparently, Ken means um harsh or steep. So it's basically saying very dangerous. It's a steep situation. Steep dangerous. But whenever I saw Ken, I always just kind of pictured that in my head because I was like, dangerous your situation. Because that's how it's going to use, right? Ken no okoshite says it um, to brave danger. To, to, to brave, brave it. To, yeah. to, in, to, to courage, right? To encounter it. To, yeah. to face it. Can you read our next word? Tomona. Hi. Tomona means to um, accompany with, but not like I accompanied my boyfriend to the party or something like that. It's like um, the danger accompanies this job type of idea. Um, do you know what toshite means? Shoshite. Toshite. Hi. From Kozo wa meshi tsukai toshite yaku ni tachisou ni nai. Toshite. Toshite is just to is with. So doing with. Mm, so just... there... 
So you, we have an adjective, and then the to. Oh. The, or is it not? You know, you're actually kind of right for what that is meaning. Now that you have pointed that out to me, you are a hundred percent correct. This is sudo to do the act of being a servant. When the kid is doing the act of being a servant, he is gyakuni tatisou ni nai, which is he is useless. And that is exactly what this is saying. You are correct. We took this into a adverb with the to and used sudo to say to be doing that. The boy you, acting as a servant, doing the servant. You were going to tell me something though, Moni, before I say it in this particular way. Um, normally, this is just taught as the word as. As, okay. It's, 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 it's officially taught as its own separate grammar point, but you are correct. That is just adverbal to. This is the thing in which he is doing. And it's te, which is a te form you done, which is doing this at the same time as the second action, right? So oh. as he's doing a servant, he is useless, meaning as in he's useless as a servant. So it, it follows all the components. Um, right. It's just a little bit irregular in that it's to rather than ni, which makes sense because if it was ni sudu, that would insinuate intent, which is not what to sudu insinuates. So that's more like the ni sudu, sudu itself, not allowing ni for that. To sudu is the to mark adverbial? Yeah, turns it into an adverb. Uh, it takes a noun, make it an adverb. Yes. Wait, so Moni, so every mm -hmm. sound effect is technically a noun. That's why you had to add a toll to it? Yes. Zoom, zoom is a noun. Booty, booty, <laughs> boop, go, 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 go. I uh, forgot. All grammarly, that. it would be, because you can't have it on its own. It's always going to have the toll afterwards to allow you to modify a verb. And you can add sudo directly to it, the same reason why you can add sudo directly to benkyo, right? And benkyo is a noun. Benkyo sudo, that's a noun. Because sudo can just directly attach to a noun to turn it into it. So you can have the sound effect directly touching the sudo or have the sound effect with to doing sudo. Because both of those are like the same, right? You can also say benkyo o sudo, right? Versus benkyo sudo. So sudo just allows for both things to happen to have doing this in this kind of way or just doing the verb, right? Just like benkyo sudo and benkyo o sudo means I'll be doing the studying or just studying, right? So yeah. Right. Yep. That, that is what it means. Just kind of fun. What did tomo now mean? That was a new vocab word. Tomo means together. Now is to attach with. It came you know, with that. That is a great way to think about it. It doesn't have that kanji, but it works great to think about it. Yeah, to attach it together to mean to accompany. So let's go read this Hi. example sentence. Hi. Uh, key. Key back. Key key get key. Key can. Key can. Key can. Why does I keep thinking of can as a sword? Like can. It is very similar to the ken from the sword, but I knew it wasn't that kanji, which is why I didn't say it. Ken for sword is here. It even had that same component for the sound ken. Yeah. It's just on the opposite side. You see it? It's over here, and that's over there. That's why but it's yes. in there. It's so... Uh, it's so... Uh, yeah, it's a sound component. Okay, so it is Ken. Hi. Uh, ken o tomonata. Shigoto da. Hi. It's, it's the job. It is a job um, that have danger come with it. Perfect. That's exactly what it means. Um, how do you read this word? Uh, Kyo, kyo, ho, kai. Ko, kai for meeting. Uh, gi, also for meeting. Kai gi jo. Hi, ba, kai gi jo. Ba. It is jo in this context. So it's, it's a place, it's a site, it's a location. Yes. Where, it's a place where you 
Meat. What How kind do you say of... River Island? River uh, Nakatsu. Perfect. Yes. Perfect. Good job. Uh, how do you read this word? Majutsu. Do. As in Perfect. like a dojo. Like a, You're um, right. Like a large dojo space. would be a kind of place like that. How do you read this word? That means like a little bit. So, 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 a little bit of something. Not shoujo. So, so. so, so. You're right. It sounds like shoujo. So, so. Um, how do you, what did it start with? So. Hi, so. Um, let's go read this example sentence. Subai to. Subai. This is a sound effect. No, spy. Oh. It's an English word. A good I guess. Spy to you. As a spy. Right, Mani? Um, I think you're thinking about the tosuru we saw. Toshite. Toyu is he, he, this sentence is explaining the meaning of what spy is. That is that could be the sentence. It's a that's the phrase specifically he's doing that. Spy toyu shigoto. Spy, it's really important to finish <laughs> to finish the sentence. Spy toyu shigoto wa shosho kiken o tomo nao daro. Hi. Okay, I have two grammar points here that I always messed up. One is the daro and the other is toi you. Hi. Okay, so I will attempt to see if I get this right. So he's saying that the job, the shigoto, mm -hmm. is the kind of a job that, uh, isn't it? He's, he's expressing vagueness here. Uh, the daro is vagueness, that is correct. He's saying that. He's saying that I believe that this is a job that came with a little bit of danger. Hi. And which job is a job that comes with a little bit of danger? Spy. To be Hi. a spy. Yeah. So now then, what what is Toyu? Toyu then... does not have a good English translation. It is an equal sign. Spy equals job. But it why is... do they use the word EU for like to speak of? Because this is um, EU as in like speaking, right? You're EU correct. Is... This is very common though. You could define it as a job that is called spy. That will work probably about 50% of the time. A job called spy. A job called spy. Yeah. Um, is... the, way, the way it works is that it always should be bigger category, smaller category. All it's doing is getting the big category and giving it a smaller label. Um, so called quite commonly will work as a definition for this, but it doesn't always work. But it just needs, but a lot of times if you have a bigger call category and you're narrowing it, it works pretty well. well Mani, in England, yeah. The yes. equal sign is a rough equivalent of the word. Well, to is. be specific, if you have two commas, like Sam, the dog, is in the house. The two commas here, the dog, is actually what this toyu would be expressing. Sam, the dog. Sam, uh, Sam toyu inu. Sam, the dog. Sam toyu inu. Sam, Sam the dog. So here is spy toyu shigoto. The job. Spy. spy. The job. Exactly. That's what it would be. It just, we don't say anything. We do a pause. The job, spy, the spy job. is it one that accompanies danger, right? That, that's how you would like directly, like, do that. But you, it's but it's hard to do that, right? There's we just the we just job, have a pause. Sam, oh, the, the dog. The job spy. The job spy is spy. The job. Yep. Comes... So really, you know, we're not talking about a spy. We're talking about spy. The job that is is one that probably comes with danger we're talking about the job, by the job. exactly so the thing <laughs> is that spy is pretty much the most important information when you have toyu but um we're starting with like in japanese we start with the bigger category um because we're making sure you know we're talking about a job we're not talking about someone called spy we're not talking about spies in general right 
You could say, because if you say, spy wa shosho kike no tomonao daro, kind of sounds like maybe if you date a spy, <laughs> it comes with danger, right? Spies come with some danger, like you know a person who's a spy. So the shigoto here is just making the sentence more clear. Um, but it, it just means that you're defining something with some other information, right? Spy, the job, but here it's the opposite, but Mani, it's always big, small. Mani, can you type the kanji for samurai real quick? Samurai? Yeah. Uh, uh, no, I don't think. No, I'm pretty a sure it's samurai. Samurai is a pretty ugly kanji. I could be wrong. That looks right to me. Samurai. No, I'm right. There's another kanji there. So maybe we're looking at that one. That looks like uh, dirt. Samurai. I wonder if the word for she oh, oh, she, right she, she, four, number four. Yeah. Okay, I'm getting it. It's a component to this other one. Right. Wakata. Do, do, do. Okay. Do you know what mogori komu means? Moguri konda. Moguri. We came across this before. We did. Oh, Saki page for a reason. The muffin. Kachi Grinagara Foguri Konda. He stuffed it in his mouth or something? I don't know. <laughs> That's a good guess. What he's Moguri Komuing into is a kasaneted of Mofu that he's using instead of a bed. So he has a bunch of blankets and he just kind of piled them all up over here and then he went into the blankets. But specifically, he crawled into them. Moguri. Moguru, to crawl. Moguru is to crawl. Hi, can you read this example sentence Moguru. for me? It's Majutsu shi no deshi wa spy to shite Majutsu shi no kaigi ni Moguri konda. Perfect. He crawls so here... in. Hi. Crawl. Crawl into uh, the who crawls into it's, the it's, uh, Majutsushi no Deshiwa. Majutsushi no Deshiwa. He crawls into the kaigi of the magicians. He crawls into the meeting of the magicians as Hoshite spy. Perfect. As a spy. Yes. So in this context, Moguri Komu is probably there metaphorically to mean like the slip in versus the last one was probably literal, <laughs> probably literally crawled in. So maybe he slipped into his blankets. I guess both are possible. He crawl. Oh, he crawls into the into the meeting. Metaphorically, metaphorically it would be like the slip crawling in. into the meeting. Hi, hi. That means um, he's undercover. So, so. Yes. Uh, can you read this word? The first is aka. Nope. No, it's hen, as Hi. in changing. Hentai. Hi. What the singular reading is like? What is the verb for to change, Moni? Kawaru. Kawaru to to transform. Kawaru. Second is shin for body. Hi, henshin. Henshin, self transformation. Yeah. No jutsu, self transformation technique. Perfect. That's exactly what it means. What's the negative form of to use? To not to use? Suka -u. This is suka -u, to use. To make it a n negative verb, it would be skanai. Do you just drop this and add nai? This is a ru verb? This is a ru verb? No, it's not. Hi, so we don't it's do that. It's wa nai. Hi, wa nai. Perfect. It's the as replacement sound. So, so. Um, um, let's go read this example sentence. This is henshin no jutsu o tsukatara. When I use the transformation technique, donna dobutsu ni naru. Ndaro. 
Donna is some kind. Right, Moni? Donna? Yeah. It's similar to Nani Yara. Mm, yeah. Um, I would translate it as what kind in this context? Rather than some. Dobutsu ni naru. To turn into an animal of some sort. Perfect. Undaro. Also daro. Also this vagueness again, but... Hi. In this no... context, you can use the I wonder would probably be better. I wonder. It's such a hard thing to... Mm -hmm. I asked you this thing like the, a hundred times already. I still feel... Oh. That always feel weird to me. Yeah. I wonder. In this case, it's just I wonder. Yeah, be the best way to translate. Normally, probably is the way to do it, but in this specific sentence, probably doesn't work well just because there's a question word in there. Basically, the red subun here is saying that um, when I use the transformation technique, I would probably turn into some sort of an animal. Yeah, but donna is a the kind of question donna is. Um it is it doesn't it's so like you know nani, right? Nani is a question. It means what, right? What? Nani ka means something, right? That is no longer really a question. So if you say I'm gonna turn into some kind of animal, the word some in there is not actually a question, right? Donna is a question. What kind? Donna. Right? Oh, he he perplexing to himself. He's wondering what kind of what animal should I turn into when I use the technique? Right. When I use the technique, what animal will I turn into? Yes. So mm. the probably it's just hard to flow in there. Probably what animal will I turn into? Like that is what he's saying, but we don't say that in English and instead we'd use I wonder. So basically, if there's a question word in there, I wonder is probably going to pop up because we don't really use probably with question words for whatever reason in English. Like, probably, what are you going to eat? You don't really say that. You would say, I wonder what you're going to eat. Oh, maybe you're going to eat. I wonder, Pro what, what will you probably what eat animal. today? I guess you say, I wonder, wonder. what prob what animal, pro what probable animal I could be. <laughs> Which possible animals I could be, I guess, could be a way to do it. Um, how would you turn tsukawanai into kereba form? Kereba? Hi, if. If. If I do that. Yes. Tsukanai. Tsukawa. 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 Naka. Yes. Okay, here is our last line of the day. How do you read this word? Kiken. Perfect. Now you get to go read it from the beginning. Sono kyogi ni. Kyo? Kyo. Ki. Kaigi. Kaigi. Kai? Kai. Sono kaigi ni washi no spy to shite moguri kon moguri koman ka moguri komu moguri koman ka hai mokori masen ka Hi. Whenever you say mm, with a ah sound in this, that's always an old man slurring for night. Manga. Masenka. I hate this. Um, Nobody speech is very difficult to understand. <laughs> it's fun practice, though. Same thing's uh, happening uh, down here. Naran, right? That naran. Same thing here with the man. It's going to be a, a plus n. Mm, it's not a nai. Hi. Not a nai. Masen ka. Shou shou kiken o 
伴うし、返事、返信の術を使わねればならんが。He's saying, if you go, you do not use transformation technique,、um, then there will be a little bit of danger that comes with、uh, a little bit of the opposite there. So these. Um, the problem with doing all the way from the end, it can be a little bit confusing with certain clauses. The, this part right here,、um, if I do not use the transformation style, then the answer to that is not on. Right? This, the answer is over here, not backwards. That's not the answer to that question.、Um, not on. These are the she here, right? That is a and for evidence. Um, but it's never proof. It's not like a because or anything like that. It's just an and of evidence.、Um, a reason why this exists is the second thing.、Um, so it's, it's the opposite. So it's just saying、um, if I do not use the magical spell, it will not become. It will not happen. That's what it says. So in English, you might just say, I must use the magic spell. But anyway,、yeah. let's start at the beginning. Kono kaigi ni washi no spy to shi mo gori masen ka? So, no, he's saying that for the, for the, up, for the upcoming、right. uh, meeting, at the upcoming meeting, I. No.、Uh, um, yeah, for、there. the upcoming meeting, Washi is I, right? Or is it But、me? there's a no there. Uh, I dog. Does it make any was, sense? Was he no toshi that as a spy, when I,、right. when I in the position of a spy? No.、Uh, mm, what? I. So、spy. let's say you have a bag, right? Watashi no kaban. Do you say I bag? My bag. My. Oh, different word. My spy. Hi. <laughs> my spy. As my spy. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Moguri komu. Koma naika? Aren't、Kodi、you? Won't, it's a will ya, basically. Won't ya? Will you? you? <laughs> I guess won't ya is more accurate. <laughs> will you? Will you? Crawl in as my spy. Hi. He put him in such a difficult situation here. So, so. Just for a few muffins. That's, that's kind of a. Tom will do it. He wants the muffins. <laughs> a few muffins will get you killed. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so. And I love how he s a y it's a little bit dangerous. It's just a little bit. He doesn't say it's a lot of danger. <laughs> so, it's so, so, Kiken. It's only a little. Only a little <laughs> so, bit. So, Tomo nao shi. I love how he s a y shi at the end, too. It's just like,、eh. it's a <laughs> little <laughs> bit. And、uh, I'm going to、um, have to use the magical spell. Yeah. You must use. One must use. One、like、must、like. use. So, It would not be well if you don't use it. Yep, it will not happen if we do not use the magical spell. And that's all it means. It. it will not come to be if, if the spell is not used. That's just the literal meaning. And then he adds the got at the end just to kind of emphasize that he must, you must. The got kind of like. The got is allowing him to say no. Is how I would describe that guy. He's trying to put the pressure off of him, right? He's saying,、um, Would you act as my spy for this? It, it, if you act as my spy, it is a little dangerous and we can't really do it unless、uh, I use this spell on you. So are you okay with that? The guy is to have him say, Hi, or Yeah, <laughs> you know, to、so、have Khan to give his consent here. If you said not on, period, that is very aggressive. That would just mean, like, we're doing it. 
we have to do it. And it, but that's not what he's doing. He's asking Khan's permission here. He is respecting right. the child's autonomy. <laughs> There's no lawyer here, but <laughs> he's like, eh, kid, kid could agree to this if he wants to. Um, 